Hey guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. Thank you so much for being here today. And as some of you may know, the world today lost Jerry Springer. Okay, now let me go there. He had a show on TV, okay? Every episode he'd start off with that care and compassion of tell me your story. Let's get this emotional connection occurring. So you'll hear this sob story of someone who might say something like, oh, you know, I was single for 10 years. I met this beautiful girl at a bar. We started a relationship. We went out a few times. Then she told me I was she was pregnant. I thought I was the father. And Jerry Springer's there holding his little piece of paper. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. He's looking at his notes on the piece of paper. Because he had all his notes on the other side, right? With his name on the other side. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Then we go to the other person. Tell us your side. Well, you know, I met him at the bar. He always treated me awful. I went out and had an affair. And now I've got three different possibilities of who the father is. <gasps> oh! So they don't even just keep this between the person and the other person on the stage they then bring out all these other possibilities oh how do you think that went every episode we've got fights abuse you know where's the police involvement seriously you know punching each other black and blue on a stage in front of an audience that is a criminal offense right so here's Jerry Springer, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. putting his name out there, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. holding on to his little Jerry Springer, I'm Jerry Springer. Let's go there today, now he's died. Where did he go? There's two possibilities. Well, there's actually three. So we'll cover the first one first. Did he stay as a ghost? Is he haunting somewhere out there? Could he be haunting the... Oh, my God! With all that energy in that studio where he used to do his... Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Could his ghost now be there? do 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 Reliving all that energy that his show created. Could be, right? Time will tell if someone starts going to that studio and starts doing ghost investigations and they actually hear him talking or something on the stage, right? So now we go to hell. What is hell? Hell is that concoction of our perception where we have grudges and regrets based on our past. Do you think he's got any regrets about doing that show? Well, if he was half good, I'd say he would definitely have a lot of regrets about doing that show, right? But then we look at, could he be aware that he could have healed that before he died? I teach every day how to heal past so when we die, we have a good experience, right? How do you know he didn't do that? He could have died and just gone straight to heaven. Oh, I'm healed. I don't have to do my life review. Well, guess what? Yes, you do. We all do a life review, whether it's good or bad memories. Okay, so let's go there. Did he stay as a ghost? Possibly. Did he go to hell? There's a lot of regrets this guy could have had about what he did in his past. How many kids came onto that show and ripped each other apart, literally, whereby you know, they obviously contracted it, agreed to it before they even came out onto the show. You know, it's so funny. It's so fake that all these people would have been sitting off stage in the green room, right? probably sitting there eating and drinking, watching the live screen. They get called out on stage and they start ripping each other apart. Why weren't they ripping each other apart in the green room? Come on. So it's all staged. So they've signed a contract. You will do this, 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 this. You won't do this, 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 this. No one ever attacked Jerry Strabringer. You know, he used to just sit there. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh listening and when they all started bashing each other stupid he'd back away and he'd still have this visible his little placard with his name on it 
because he wanted everybody to know who he was. Did he have an ego? I'm actually thinking he did because he held this for the whole show with his name on it. Go check it out if you want to. I <laughs> don't suggest it, okay? I'm not suggesting it at all because it creates too much negativity in our own world, you know? So now we've got to look at mum and dad, kids, other people, whoever, sitting at home at night time. They turn on the TV and they say, what's on TV tonight? Oh, the Jerry Springer show. Okay, let's see who's bashing each other stupid tonight. So now we've got the TV creating all this negative energy which is coming into our own homes and it affects us as well. Like a telling me, um, it's like a pheromone, right? Comes through and attaches to us because energy does spread. So then we go off and we're thinking, is my husband having an affair on me? Uh, should I be, should I have an affair on him? Is he really the daddy of my baby? Is, am I really the first one that he ever did anything with? All these doubts are created because of one show. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. So, would he know that ripple effect of what he was doing? And I can tell you guys, he did know because he admitted to it, okay? He said in many of his interviews over the years how people would watch his show and they would go nuts in their own world. He actually said in one of his interviews about five years ago, he said, I am not responsible for what other people do after they've watched my show. Wow, he said something like that. Don't hold me verbatim to his quote. And I can't even, I don't even know where I saw it, but I know I saw it somewhere. Okay, wow. Wow. So that's where he has acknowledged, because someone's told him, I watched your show and because of your show, I then went and did all this stuff. So it's whether Jerry Springer, you know, the old, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. He sat there and going, uh-huh, 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 no, 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 no. So could he have created his own hell? based on all those people blaming him for what they did after watching his show. If he's smart, he's disconnected from them because we can't blame other people for what we watch on TV ultimately, okay? You can't say ever, oh, I'm really upset with what's happening with this war because you're watching it and creating it to make yourself upset. Turn that switch off, okay? Turn that switch off is what I say. And that's why I never sat through a full episode of Jerry Springer, okay? Never, because I don't want that energy or that negativity in my own world. So could have he gone to heaven? Let's look at it. To get in through the pearly gates, what have we got to do first? Our life review. How many people do you think in those batches and batches and multitudes of billions of memories, how many times in all those instances that he's got to heal, do you think where he said, oh my God, I told them to do that. They came onto his show. They were told to be nasty. They were told to be angry and hate, 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 hate. But ultimately, he condoned it. He egged them on and he encouraged it. You watch his shows. He encouraged it. Never once did he stand in and say, hey, stop hitting each other. He knew what he was creating. So... In my personal view, he could have easily gone to a hell over that because he was aware of the energy he created 
And if he created a regret over doing that, he's in hell. Well, if he's gone to heaven where he said, oh man, I'm really sorry. I really didn't mean to do all that. Now I'm seeing the error of my ways. Help me, Jesus. If he's there saying, I didn't mean to do all that pain to each other. And then he's got to relive that pain in every single person that was on his show and also every single person who watched his show. Wow, that's millions of people. He's got to, re he's got to relive every single one of those. So, wow. Your wife was angry with you today because she watched Jerry Springer. So, of course, it's a ripple that he has to deal with. Wow. I certainly don't want to be anywhere near that life review because there's going to be a lot of hurt that he inflicted and caused to others that he has to heal. I hope he didn't create a regret over it or a grudge. Because in that case, he would definitely be south of the border. I hope he's gone to heaven, as I do for everybody. I hope that he has now seen the error of his way with the negativity that he was creating on earth. And hopefully next time in his life, he has to be somebody who's kinder, more supportive more compassionate and most of all offering love and support to others instead of letting them rip each other apart in front of a live audience so there you go guys jerry springer dead we won't see this anymore uh-huh 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 but it's a lesson for all of us to learn what can we do now that we know that there's shows out there like that what can we do in our little world to make the world a better place? And my first suggestion is switch him off. <laughs>